Over the last few days, we've celebrated some of the most important of the Desert Fathers. On Sunday, of course, we celebrated St. Anthony the Great. Uh, well, today we're celebrating another one of those great Desert Fathers, St. Macarius the Great. And uh, they were contemporaries of one another. And one of the things that I think is so profound and important about these Desert Fathers uh, is that the things that they say, the sayings that we have of theirs, uh, are still true today, even though they were said 1,700 years later. And when put into context of their life and our life, perhaps one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the secular world around them was perhaps in greater turmoil uh, for them than it is even now for us. St. Anthony and St. Macarius lived at a time, uh, the first part of their life, where the secular authority was literally completely against them. And it wasn't until towards the end of their life that Christianity became even an accepted form of uh, religion under the, the Roman and Byzantine emperors. And so what they talk about and how they talk about it is important for us to, to think about because what do they talk about? They don't talk about the secular authority. They don't talk about the, uh, the difficulties of, of any sort of, of uh, government over them, what they talk about is the interior life. And they talk about the important things that we need to do, that they knew they needed to do, in order to be saved, because that was, their, that was their hope. They didn't care about anything else except for knowing God and being able to encounter him so that they can be saved. And so the things that they say were true 1,700 years ago, and they're still true today, no matter what situation we might find ourselves. So I want to uh, share with you a little bit about St. Macarius and, and some of the things that he says and some encouragements to us so that we can live our life as we should, no matter the time, no matter the external experiences that are going on around us. St. Macarius uh, lived in the third century, and he actually, uh, before he was a monastic, he was married, and unfortunately his wife died. And uh, when they were still young and newlyweds, so there was no, no children, uh, he helped his parents until they also died. And then when his parents died, that is when he finally went out into the wilderness and became the, the great ascetic uh, that we have. And there are a number of wonderful sayings that are available in the book, The Sayings of the Desert Fathers, and I just want to share with you just a couple of them. Uh, he really gives some very concrete advice about how to live our life. He tells us to not easily correct other people. And that's something that might be difficult for us. Abba Makaria says, if you reprove someone, you yourself get carried away by anger and you are satisfying your own passion. Do not lose yourself, therefore, to save another. So be careful even about offering correction, even in the midst of seeing something that we know to be wrong. It has to be done in such a way that that person is saved and that we are saved as well. And that's something that can take some really strong discernment. He encourages people to not uh, be taken up by praise or insults, not to be swung in either direction. And there's a story that he tells uh, one of his disciples who wants to know how to live his life. He tells him, well, go to the cemetery. Insult all the graves that are there. And so he goes and he does it, comes back. St. Macarius says, okay, now go to the same graves and praise them. So the man does, he goes and does that and he comes back. And St. Anthony says, well, or St. Macarius says, well, what happened? And the guy says, nothing. And St. Macarius says, like the dead, take no account of either the scorn of men or their praises and you can be saved. And that's a hard one for us to live by as well. He tells us and encourages us, St. Macarius encourages us to live a life of humility. There are a couple of stories where a demon comes to St. Macarius and says that I fast like you. I don't have to eat. I don't have to sleep. How is it that you can beat me? And St. Macarius simply says, humility. Humility is the virtue that is able to defeat even the most powerful of the demons. And so we have to learn to humble ourselves in the midst of, of our, our life so that we can conquer the evil one. 
He, St. Macarius, one who was known for his ability to pray, tells us to pray simply. In a very beautiful saying, St. Macarius says, There is no need at all to make long discourses. It is enough to stretch out one's hands and say, Lord, as you will and as you know, have mercy. And if the conflict grows fiercer, say, Lord, help. He knows very well what we need, and he shows us his mercy. Simple prayers, continuously calling upon the name of the Lord for help and guidance in the midst of every situation. And perhaps one of the most powerful things that is great for us to remember is that, very simply, St. Macarius tells us, one evil word makes even the good evil, while one good word makes even the evil good. And that's another powerful words to live by, to strive to have our good words be passed on to other people and not to say evil things which might then destroy even the good things that we might have said, but to really season our the things that we say with things that are godly, things that are helpful and righteous, which can help to, to bring people to an understanding of Christ. That's the most important thing. So these beautiful desert fathers, St. Anthony the Great, St. Macarius the Great, and all of the others have timeless wisdom because truth is truth. And regardless of what is happening in our life, the most important thing that we can do is to work on how do we know God. To know God is to love him. To love God is to show humility and love to others, to not be brought one direction or another through insults or praises, and to pray simply, Lord, help. May these great saints and luminaries help us to see their timeless wisdom and to live it so that we, like them, can see Christ.